Asheron. Here we go. The Asheron mission begins. We are going to be going into a giant organism. For some reason. Oh dear. Yeah. An organism that is becoming a a freaking planet that has been covered over by a fucking organism, man. Pretty nasty. Yeah. And the organism is not liking the terraforming. So I was really rushed out into from the bathroom. <laughs> so guys, it is getting closer and closer of each day that passes. It is getting closer to Jan to the 22nd of this month. I don't know. I'm I'm not really excited for my birthday to be honest. Because one, I'm not finding it exciting. Let me get anymore. this straight. They're desperate to get this thing, so we're gonna blow it up. We're just gonna give it a nudge, pry it loose, and they don't think the creature will mind. I guess we'll find out. Then let's get it over with. This place gives me the creeps. I had the shot launcher. Thank you of dying. I'll be taking that now. Even fucking serve. After I started the fucking mission. I'll be right back, everyone. Hi, everyone. How's it going? Um, I'm over here now. I'm just uh, using the cheese to pass this level. So, if you want to know why? This, this level. It's a bitch. And I mean, it's a bitch. Come <sighs> on. 
There we go. I got me the rocket launcher. I know I could pass this level legitimately, but I'm not gonna deal with that right now. Got a, got a hell staff, but not a uh, arch file staff. The fuck is going on? Why did my game did freeze? Me? Yeah, I hear ya. Yeah. Hey guys, here's a little trick for you. How to summon all weapons, so you don't have to do the summon command every goddamn time for each thing. Here you go. I see an enemy coming towards me. Goodies. I'm coming to get you. Yeah, I got me some goodies. And then if you want all ammo, you just type in all ammo. Gives you 999. He's over here. Good stuff. And for God mode, you get, get you type in God. Grab it, obviously. No clip is ghost. Fly is fly. And then if you want to walk, you just type in walk. Huh. I have the Widowmaker sniper rifle right now. Also for the grenade launcher. You get, you have frag, toxic, incendiary, smoke, concussion, and EMP. Jesus, you have a lot of different grenades. Yep, it's in the grenade launcher. And you have wow, the shark, nice. known as the uh, rocket launcher. It'll soon have its own uh, alt fire soon. Come on. Okay, guy, you wanna you wanna fly with your ass? Is that it? You wanna fly? How much frag remains in it? <laughs> I killed you with concussion grenades. <laughs> you look fabulous. Hit him hard. You wanna hit me hard, don't you? I'm a toxic. You know what, I'm just gonna give him giant spiders. <laughs> you know, there's two ways to get a bigger rack. Oh yeah. Can I hear it? Sure. Okay, you press the click the right click button. You know the alt fire button. Right, right, right. right. Once. And then you use the primary fire on the biomass that you have lying down to grow, for it to grow. Okay. If you want to make traps, then you can just leave it small, and that's a booby trap for them. Think of it as a different, like, weapon, like the uh, the GS bio rifle. You know, the one that turns right, into right, gimps. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And another second thing, Ooh, you can get a big, huge, nice. giant mountain, giant mutant killer spider, is to hold down the right, the alternate fire. Uh. Oh, excuse me. Ah. That was really loud. Ah. You know what, I, I can just demonstrate it. Mother! And there it goes, it's growing. And now you got a little oh. guy. Now you got two little guys, there we go. I just hold down the right click button and I uh, did that. And now, it's, uh, now those guys are going after him. <laughs> See what I mean? Alright, since I already have Grace, I'm going to use Grace. It's an act. Dead. Ooh, 
I I should definitely show you guys the Drac laser when I do officially get it into my loadout. Black home gun, um, the secondary cannon. This thing is deadly. If that black hole makes contact with an enemy or anything else, it will suck it in and kill it instantly. That sounds pretty effective. Yep. Okay. <laughs> now, you, now you have little drones attacking you. <laughs> ah, my God. I swear to God, if you freaking freeze up. Oh, Jesus. That was a direct hit. Oh, boy. Here we go. Rocket turret destroyed. You got the shotgun, the flamethrower, the magnum. Drac laser rifle is sick. I should demonstrate how this thing works. I should. Jesus, this place is good. It's disused. There's one reason why I like this weapon. That it'll just turn people to give. Incoming! That's what I'm doing currently with my Barbado cannon. It'll just make them flat straight on their ass. <laughs> In one hit. Let's go. There you go. This dad's so hard. <laughs> uh, I'm too evil for this. I should be more nice. But no, I'm not nice. I get that brain working. Uh... That's a BFG Cacodemon, holy crap. Hey, what now? BFG Cacodemon. You know, that sounds very terrifying. Yeah, because I just got shot at and it nearly killed me. Well, I killed him and I got a BFG from it, so... A cacodemon that uses a BFG. Yeah, it, it shoots it right out of its mouth. So it just... It just had a freaking BFG in its mouth the entire time? Basically. I'm even more terrified. I 
I don't know where I'm heading with this. I don't know where the fucking switch is at, either. Damn. I don't even know where it's at. My guess is, I'm just going to fly down there. That's a fingertip of mine. I hope I survive. Just one sitting area, so uh, it's not gonna be that tough. Oh god, a plant has me. <laughs> I've acquired the Pain Lord's soul. of dying of being tentacle fucked. Because the plants, these plants in this area really can grab someone. Oh boy, here it is. from a long range, bitch. He's over here. Oh boy. I hear that. Come on, why is it not blowing up? Wow. 
Well then, I just shot your head. Arm all three detonators? Oh god. Where are the three detonators? I forget. Don't tell me. Right freaking there. All the bloody long, okay. And here's three. Boom. Oh boy! Uh, be right back. You there? Uh, now I have. What the hell was that? Look out! I have um like white blood cells going after my ass. What? No joke. That's really weird. These things are acting like these things are acting like white blood cells attacking the invader. Report in. Everyone topside now. Evacuate. Repeat. Evacuate. This thing's alive. Get the hell out of here. I'm just going to see green acid flow going up right now. <laughs> Ew. No hitchhikers. <laughs> uh, I have finished Asheron. It didn't have any level changes, so that's good.
I am glad that's over. I will only use God mode for harder missions like that one. I know you might like Unreal, because it's uh, pretty much the same age as Half-Life is going to be right now. You know, 20 years I old. I know I'm going to like the game, I just haven't played it yet, for God's sake, will you quit? I know. Come on. Just haven't played it yet. The Izanagi are not at all happy with your incursion on Asheron. They are massing their forces on Severnaya. The fleet on Severnaya draws its power from energy generated by the Minkowski Dam. Pardoning me, but is not dam one of the forbidden words? Later, Naban. Go on, Ida. A squad of marines made a commando raid to blow the dam, but the mission went bad and they're stranded. We know there are at least two of them alive down there, and our orders are to recover them. Got it. I'm on the way. <sighs> Seven Naya. Um, yeah. We got the Izanagi Ghost Warriors be uh, that I'm dealing with right now. Yep, two missions and one. Give up. I gotta save at some point. Give it up, you suckers! You're pinned down! Come and get us! to the dropship. Naban will ferry you up. My EMP grenades are in that cache right there. Take them. I think my buddy had a sniper rifle. Good luck. <laughs> yes. Not gonna lie, I do like the Widowmaker sniper rifle. I could get good shots with this. Like now. Uh. I am vicious when it comes to a sniper rifle. You can ask Ray. Like, for example, when I played uh, Counter Strike Source with him. Or in Svan Co op. Mm. Wait a minute. Good 
two shots to kill him. A lot of different life forms on this world. They look more Earth like. I think those are called snake bats or snake birds. I don't remember. One star flying in the sky. Yeah, that's. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember. Anyway. Pressing on. It's going to be hilarious when you get to hear Ida go like, Don't tell me you're turning on those charges. <laughs> Load up. I'm at fucking one health! Oh no! This is gonna go poorly. I just know it. I got sneezed on. Ray, did you hear what I said? <laughs> yeah, I heard it. I got sneezed on because my health was at one. I'll be right back, everybody. I need to get my revenge on these fucks. And I'm back. How's it going, everyone? Okay, I better save before I before I fuck up again. Intruder, you have been detected. You have locked down B section. There is no escape. Drop your weapons and wait for the security detail. If you comply, you will not be harmed. Yeah, right. Sure. Like I'm gonna listen to you as an Aggie bastard, am I? <laughs> Shit. How dare you melee me? Okay, bastards. I see how you like to play right now. Of course, things are not going to be easy. <laughs> Quick. 
quick save. Gladly there's a quick save button. I am happy about that. John, the Marine's already out. What the hell are you doing? Just poking around a bit, I guess. Do not tell me you are going to arm those charges. Okay, I will tell you that. God damn it, John, will you get out of there? Two more charges to go. You're so damn stubborn. Oh, and you're not? Oh, and you're not? Right now, is he dead yet? Uh, I don't know, I can't find him. Can't find him. Where can he go? He's locked in. I'm looking. I'm looking! Security detail, report in. Security detail, report in. I don't like this. Shut up, keep looking. He must be somewhere. <laughs> I got a quick save here. <laughs> What? I just found a legendary BFG. Ah. Let's ride. That's kind of amazing. Toxic grenades. Fine, go ahead, blow yourself up. Come on, Ida, only one more to go. Can you tell me where it is? You're on your own, pal. I ain't telling you squat. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Got him. Look at that thing, it's beautiful. Okay, hold on, hold on. And look at my screen chat, by the way. Not, not right now, I mean, like, when, I mean, uh, not right now, I mean, like, when you get the chance. Well, I want you to look at the screen chat that I took. Let's go! Oh, that's interesting, good lord. What do you think about the scope? They keep on saying, I got him. And clearly they don't. Like sniper rifles. 
Oh, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> I shoot him right through the crack. Wow, okay. Thank you of being destroyed. I have to do platforming on these pipes. What am I, Mario? <laughs> Yahoo! Yahoo! John, my whole board just lit up. You've only got five minutes to get out of here. <laughs> Gotta move, gotta move, gotta move! I'm sorry boys, but nope. Oh my god, the left-hand BFD is amazing. Nope! Uh. I am so glad there's no devil fish in this game. <laughs> you, you. I don't need aquatic enemies. Out of there. They can't follow okay, someone so else. I, I, can, I can hurt myself with the BFG. Okay, I gotta be careful with that. <laughs> Ray, you know what I just pulled? Huh. I just got away from it. Is a Nagi, guys. Oh, cool. Just by jumping off the dam and jumping into the water. How about that? Yep. I swam. I am a dick. That's two missions, people. That's two missions in this video. Asheron and and the Savaya mission. So I'm I'm happy about that. I am very happy about that right now. I completed two missions and I'm going to be done with this game eventually. Don't know when. <laughs> I don't think this game is very long. <clears throat> Drexler. General Drexler. It sounds very cancerous to George's name, to be honest. Uh... I don't know why I feel that way. Woo!
problem isn't over here. It wouldn't be there. If anything, it'd be in the power relay panel. Seagoat. What the hell was that? Seagoat. Must have picked it up when we lifted those marines from Sanctuary. That's the only place they grow, little bastards. Can you fix it? No, we gotta land. Damn. Naban, pick out a safe haven and brief the Marshal. Is Ida so much not liking Isaac? Years ago, Isaac and Ida served on a Terran capital ship together. He was the launch officer. During a fight with the Scar, the ship took a series of hits. He was wounded, got trapped in his compartment, and panicked. That is not so unusual. The fighter crew was getting ready to launch. He opened the airlock too soon, and they were sucked into space. After that, he just curled up on the floor. They had to break in to launch the other fighters. And Ida cannot forgive him for this? She calls it dereliction of duty. They beat off the scar, but her friends were dead. And Isaac never recovered. He got a medical discharge and dived right into a bottle. Now he's back trying to prove himself. And he doesn't know if he has what it takes. Legendary BFG is pretty okay. I am happily to be giving you. Okay, guys. I think I'm going to save here and call it a day on uh, Unreal 2 The Awakening. Two missions together. <laughs> I think that would do for me. Um, let's see which ones they were. Um... There's Asheron. And... There we go. I do believe I'm almost there at the end of the game. <gasps> I'm not sure. <clears throat> Anyways, this has been ShadowDiffPlayer93, and I will see you guys in the next videos. Peace out. Keep on the stealth. Laters. Bye, everyone. Well, here we are, everyone. I am happily to be giving you a briefing. Are you ready? Yes, Nabon. Probably more ready than you. The Seagoat has damaged our inertial control systems. We are forced to land on the planet Calidon for repairs. It has a breathable atmosphere, not much water, and a limited biosphere. Oh, dears. To be continuation. Military Outpost Kilo 57 serves mostly as a repair and supply depot for ships cruising through this otherwise uninhabited part of space. Cow patties. We will set down behind a shield wall. But the Leandry Angel Mercs will soon know we are there, and they are sure to attack us. Intercourse. It will be up to you to hold them off long enough for Isaac to fix the ship. He is waiting for you now in the weapons bay. Oh, hi, Seagoat. What are you doing? What's on your mind? So what do you think? Lost Ancient Glories or Pandora's Box? Are you kidding? They gotta be dangerous. 
Why else would someone put glyphs on them and scatter them all over the galaxy? I bet when they break the code, it says, run like hell. Where the hell did that thing come from? Sea goat. Must have picked it up when we lifted those marines from Sanctuary. That's the only place they grow, little bastards. You here for your loadout? What's in your bag of tricks? Let me see. Lots of new toys this time. I got a sniper rifle. And wait till you see how I modify the alt fire on the rocket launcher. It's like a whole new weapon. So we should really go over it in detail. I don't have any more of those EMP grenades you found on Severnaya, but I'll definitely get more by the time you get back. Take your pick. How about the shark? Ah, self-propelled rockets with four thrusters and explosive warheads that fuse on impact. Primary fire is four missiles bound together as one rocket, but I've changed the alt fire into something even the mercs don't have. Here's how it works. Hold down the alt fire trigger and identify up to four targets by holding each one in your crosshairs until you hear a beep. Then release the trigger and the four missiles will each <laughs> seek one of the targets. Any missiles that don't have a target will just follow a drunken path. Anything else? What are the specs on the Widowmaker? A beautiful precision instrument with a variable zoom. It's got a computerized targeting system that compensates for wind and other variables to put a 50 caliber slug within an inch of where you aim it from two clicks away. Altfire toggles you in and out of zoom mode, and you can use the wheel control to zoom in further. Ammo is generally hard to come by, so don't waste it. What'll it be? Let's go over the Hydra. The M406 grenade launcher has slots for six different grenade types. Tapping your primary fire lobs out a grenade that explodes on contact. Holding the trigger a little longer engages the timing mechanism so you can bounce them around some. Secondary fire chambers the next grenade type if you've got any. If you like, I can tell you about the individual grenades. What's up with the EMP grenade? The massive electromagnetic pulse will fry almost any electrical system instantly. others see you later now look at our weapon collection here looks pretty good to me so far now there's one thing I'm gonna be doing everyone is that is for using the cheats in this area I do not like this area for some odd reason I never liked it it's horrible so I want to get past it faster request oh. shield wall deactivation Roger shield wall down friends hooked us up with these deployable plasma field generators just like your weapons primary fire puts one in place and if there's another nearby they'll link up to form a wall I'll fire to put down the last one in a chain your used reticule will show how much damage it's taken you can use a wall to walk through it, but if you use a field generator, you'll pick it up. 
Picking up a damaged fuel generator doesn't repair it. When you place it somewhere else, it'll still have the same damage. If you're carrying more than one, the least damaged one will always get put in place first. Turrets work pretty much the same. Keep in mind they've got a limited cone of vision. Primary fire places and activates the turret. The use reticule will tell you if it's taken any damage. Using a turret picks it up, and it'll hold its damage just like the field generator. These things are smart. They know friend from foe, so they won't fire on you or your allies. Scout drone. Won't be long now. We called in another drop, but they overshot, so there's a cache out there somewhere. You gotta find it and set up some defenses. Hold off the mercs long enough for me to fix this ship. If any of them make it through that door, we're toast. Kind of overdoing it. Find the cache of the the of defensive equipment. Okay. Huh? Huh? 
Jesus, <laughs> I think I'm overdoing it just a bit. warriors I'm fighting Well, holy shit. Can you guys hurry it up in there? Isaac, how much longer? Hand me that wrench. I am happy to be of assistance. Don't touch that. Marshall, we need more time. No sweat. More Leandre. Oh my god. Music picked up. That's always the best sign. Huh? <laughs> 
Almost done. Just give us a few more minutes. I'm fighting as fast as I can. Here, Isaac. Let me help you. Push that button. No, not that one. More visitors. Jesus, did you send out invitations? <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that's that's really funny. I'm not gonna lie, that one is stressful to me. You're back in business, John. How's the ship? Good as new. I hope so. We've discovered a secret Izanagi facility on Sulphuron. Interceptor, sure they've developed a new analytical tool that helps them find these artifacts. We need to go in and get it. Another artifact hunt? Not this time. It's the information we're after. Go down there, acquire the data, and bring it back. Take care, John. You're the best we've got.
<sighs> What's even going to be a more of a pain is that the Singularity Cannon. I will get to you guys on that. The Singularity Cannon is very powerful, is all I'm going to say. Be right back, everyone. I'm back, everyone. This part... I'll be right back again, people. Anyways, I'm back. Hi, everybody. Oh, uh, my fucking head, though. Those are giant ass bones. Uh, that went pretty well. That went really well. Good shot, back of the head. It's always a great hit on the back of the noggin.
serious? Oh wow, you killed yourself. I heard that. Let's get a good look at Grace. No, I forgot it. Fucking open the door. Well, that's gay. Don't tell me I have to fix that. Uh, fuck. Wow, he just rolled down the stairs in fetal position, right? Fascinating. Then again, I'm not surprised with this game. Hey, excuse me, what now? Oh, trust me, everyone, it's not the end of this, this area. It's not. 
even though how much I despise this fucking part. <clears throat> that fucking part so much. Of what comes next after it. Okay, I think I'm gonna have this, um, I'm gonna continue more of this on the next session for you all. We're on Sophirion anyway. Kinda sounds like a name of a Pokemon for some reason, but oh well. Um, let me see, what are we on now? We're on, we're on mission 14. Already. Impressive. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next videos. Well, this session will be continued uh, tomorrow. Because I don't want to record Unreal 2 for a, for a while. Actually, I may be able to finish this. I'm not sure. Marie. Yes, sir. Uh. Watch the back door. Back door, check. Marie. Yes, sir. That's a big fucker. Patrol the front wall. Okay, I'll patrol the wall. You. Yes, sir. Back door secure. Guard the front door. Front door. Got it. This is going to be a weird, weird, weird operation you. here. Yes, sir. Guard the control room. Okay. I'll guard the control room. This is going to be interesting. Control room. Secure. Front door. <laughs> secure. <laughs> Done yet? Shut up on it. How about now? I'm working on it. How's it coming? Why don't you go kill something? Finished? Almost there. Can you hurry it up a bit? I'm dying out here. Will you leave me alone? <laughs> oh, no problem. I'm just killing time. Well, plus other stuff. What is the matter with you? From any front. Great. Now I have to start all over. You. Yes, sir. Guard the front door. Front door. Got it. Incoming dropship. Looks like Izanagi goes to warriors. You. Yes, sir. Guard the control room. Okay. I'll guard the control room. Holy shit. This place is going to get lit up with the enemy forces. Lows of the Izanagi Ghost Warriors. In fact. Holy shit! Oh 
okay then. No, the big guy is dead. Guard the control room. Okay, I'll guard the control room. <laughs> control room breach! I need backup now! Damn it. Marie. Yes, sir. Guard the control room. Okay, I'll guard the control room. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Control room breach! I need backup now! Defend level so bloody much. <laughs> uh, that's what I hate about it. I'm gonna have all these guys just defend the fucking control room. Because this is driving me insane. It really is. <laughs> it's like, hey, how about you guys come over here? Marie. Yes, sir. Guard the control room. Okay, I'll guard the control room. You. Yes, sir. Guard the control room. Control okay. room secure. I'll guard the control room. Marie. Yes, sir. Guard the control room. Control room secure. Okay, I'll guard the control room. You. Yes, sir. Control room secure. Okay, I'll guard the control room. Control room secure. Dang. I have like a full squad going here. Okay, hold on. Okay, here we are, everyone. We're back. Incoming dropship. Looks like he's an Aki Ghost Warriors. Yay. Oh boy, my favorite. It's more funny that this part doesn't change its mind. It's not randomized, so... The game is replayable if you want to choose one of your favorite missions. Personally, one of my favorite missions is Hal. Don't know why.
shit! <laughs> Dude, I took serious damage from that. Just only two guys that died. Woo! <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like that mission at all. <laughs> it looks like fucking Mars out of its goddamn ass. That's what it looks like to me. That. That planet looks like fucking Mars in a way. That there's giant fucking bones just laying right there. Like, like some kind of life forms uh, were probably on there. I don't know. <laughs> it's a barren wasteland. Like Korhal from... From freaking Starcraft. Stuff like that. There's a lot of planets that, uh, that are very interesting. <clears throat> and I hope the Kepler telescope will find more planets that is just like ours. That's going to be amazing. in this whole fucking galaxy, you know. I like how it just went from the game to the uh, to the video game and to real life astronomy. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. I just like how I just did that. Yay. Yay. Um Fuck. Pardoning me for extruding myself in your cabin. It's okay, Nabon. What can I do for you? I still do not understand why the hero of the Strider Wars is serving on this ship. You got a minute? I'll tell you. Ida was a child prodigy, a strategic genius. She was an international 3D chess master by the age of 10, and drafted by the Terran military before she was out of braces. 
about 10 years ago, at the height of the Strider Wars. Things were going badly for us. We were outnumbered and outgunned. It seemed only a matter of time before we'd be wiped out. Ida turned it all around. On an out-of-the-way planet called Tycho, she created a sort of electronic Potemkin village, a massive underground complex of transmitters and antennas. She made it seem as if the Terran military had concentrated their headquarters and most of their forces there. The Striders went for it. They landed in full force, right above the transmitters. Our ships had been hiding behind Tycho's moon. They came out and nuked the planet into oblivion. It was a brilliant victory. Yeah, but it had a price. Tycho had hundreds of Terran colonists, innocents who couldn't be warned of Ida's plan. When she activated the transmitters, she signed their death warrants. But because they died, millions lived. She knows that. She made the choice. But she's never forgiven herself. As she grew older, she rebelled. She thinks the military made her a monster, and now she doesn't trust them or anyone else. You should tell her to trust you. It doesn't quite work that way. <clears throat> well. Many pardons, but could we talk later? Let's see what we got here. Get out of here, stupid animal. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking sea goat. It's like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> My god, that's funny. I scrounged some concussion grenades for you, and I finally figured out what to do with that arachnid biomass you found back on Hell. Turned out to be a hell of a weapon. You gotta check it out. Take your pick. Oh. The spider gun. You made a gun that shoots spiders? Oh, I had me some fun with this one. <laughs> Turns out the arachnids you ran into on Hell have a really durable biomass. I loaded some into this ejaculator tube. Primary fire spits out a sack that'll spawn a bunch of little arachnids on your target. With all fire, the sack will grow <laughs> until it splits and a big sucker pops out and goes on the attack. Anything else? <sighs> How powerful is the concussion grenade? It sends out a shockwave that'll knock most of your enemies flat on their ass. Pretty impressive blast radius, too. What'll it be? <sighs> oh my god, I love it. See you later. Hey, Ray. Ray, buddy. Ready for the briefing? Let's do it. Both the Izanagi and Leandri have learned the location of our secret research lab on Janus. The Ghost Warriors are already on the ground and the Angels aren't far behind. Our top expert on the artifacts works at the lab. His name is Dr. Meyer. He's got two artifacts down there and he's in charge of the entire facility. Polaris is a huge base set on top of a cliff. It houses hundreds of scientists and vast quantities of equipment. It's one of the largest human-built installations in the sector. Most of the scientists have already gotten out, but Meyer is still in there. The terrain surrounding the facility is pretty bleak. Janus is a cold planet, 6,000 miles in diameter, orbiting the weak K-type star Asgar. The only surviving species are hardy plants and animals that have adapted to the frozen landscape. Your mission is to recover both artifacts and make sure the mercs don't capture Dr. Meyer. The landing pad is here. The main entrance isn't far away, but you have to go over a bridge to get there. The Izanagi are already holding the bridge, so it's sure to be heavily fortified. Watch out, especially for snipers and turrets. Good luck, John. Now then, I think I am going to end it here now. I did two missions already. I don't need to do a third one right now. Anyways, thank you all for watching.
and I will see you all in the next videos. Peace out. Keep on the stealth. Later. Bye, everyone.